In a previous video, I walked you through the various formats of content that you could create to spread the message of your work. Uh, I've talked about doing videos, I've talked about writing articles, maybe even doing mind maps or podcast episodes. Lots of different formats, right? Well, the question is, how do you choose which format you should be doing to create your content? So that's what this little video is about. So I've got four uh, suggestions for you to, to, to uh, make a decision on this. The first suggestion is to ask yourself what comes more naturally for you. Some people more naturally write. That's how they organize ideas and uh, brainstorm. They enjoy that process. Other people don't enjoy the process or it doesn't come naturally for them. As an example, uh, even uh, about up to two years ago, for most of my life, I felt like I've had writer's block. And that only began to dissolve in the past two years. But, but writing was not natural at all for me. If I wanted to organize ideas and share them, it was much more easy for me to talk them out, right? To talk about it. So it would be either creating podcast episodes or it would be doing videos like this. So um, what's natural for you, writing or talking uh, maybe it's even organizing your ideas through mind map. Maybe that's inspiring for you. Or by doing an outline or by creating a graphic of some kind to organize your ideas, right? So what comes more naturally for you? That's really where you start because once you create the content in the way that's natural for you, you can then repurpose that content into different formats. So for example, why did I suddenly uh, why did my writer's block heal itself about two years ago? Actually, I'm sorry, about one year ago was, was when it uh, dissolved. Because a year ago, I started making lots of these videos. And after I created the video, I would say, gosh, what if, the people, what if some people don't have time to watch the videos? Um, I, I might as well quickly write up what I said in the video. And so I just, out of a sense of courtesy, out of a sense of wanting to help, I quickly wrote out what I said in each video and just by quickly writing it out without perfectionism, without thinking, oh, this is going to go into a book, without uh, thinking that someone might be judging me. I was doing it just out of courtesy, out of service for others. Um, it just, this writing, the writer's block s took care of itself. So with lots of practice in writing, it just the writer's block took care of itself. So, so that was how I repurposed my content was first starting with video and then turning it into writing. Into writing, it may be different for you. You might want to start with writing and then turning it into video later. So, so what is more natural for you to start with? I invite you to answer that question. The second question to answer is, what have you seen out there that you are energized to create? What have you seen your niche mates? How have you seen your niche mates create content that gets you excited? When I say niche mates, by the way, uh, some people use the term competitors. I don't like that term competitors because it uh, creates unnecessary fear when the reality is that everybody in the same industry is really just trying to make it and should be helping each other. Uh, we should be looking at our competitors as perfect mirrors for us. It's much easier for us to see what's working in a mirror and what's not working than us than for us to look at ourselves, right? Like this. So, so your niche mates are your best mirrors, and some of them could become your best partners, your best referral sources. So I always use the term niche mate. So, what are your niche? How are your niche mates creating and sharing their message that energizes you, that gets you excited, and you think, "Gosh, maybe I could do the same thing too," right? Um, so, for example. Uh, last year when I made a hundred videos mostly on my dog walks um, that inspired uh, quite a few people to say gosh if George can do it in such a casual way maybe I could as well right so so again what have you seen out there if you, as you think about your niche mates and how they're sharing their message what excites you how might you want to do this do the same thing okay the third question is for you to ask your ideal clients what format of content do they prefer for you to be sharing your message and teaching them? Uh, do they prefer you to write articles? Do they prefer you to make videos? What kind of videos do they prefer you to make? Okay, ask them. 
So uh, if you are already working with clients, email five to 10 of your clients and give them options to say, hey, do you, I'm gonna be teaching a lot my, my best ideas. Um, and do you prefer that I do them in uh, do the, writing them out? Do you prefer that I do them in video? And what kind of video? Is it a slideshow video or like a talking head type video? Do you prefer that I record them in audio? What do you what do you prefer? Do you prefer that I do mind maps or outlines? Right. So you ask them. And I asked my clients these questions, and it was incredibly helpful. The responses they gave to me that informed how I create content. Now. Just because your clients say that they prefer video, for example, and let's say that video wasn't natural for you, you prefer to do writing, doesn't mean you have to start with video. Remember, you can start with the format of content that's more natural for you, and then you can repurpose it towards what your ideal clients like more, okay? All right, so for example, I'm doing video as a start, and then from there, I will turn it into writing and from the writing at, at blog posts, and from the blog posts, I will then write a book. Um, and I will also put these videos into a course uh, so that it's in a step-by-step step step format. So remember, you can always repurpose your, your initial content later. Now, the final, the final suggestion I have for you is to try out various formats. You know, if you're not entirely sure, try writing some of your ideas down and sharing them. Try doing a couple of videos and sharing them. Uh, try recording a couple of audios and sharing them. And see where you're getting the best feedback. Because as I always like to say, your calling, what you are called to do, is a combination of what you love doing and what how the market responds well to you. That combination is your calling in business, your calling in content sharing. So I hope this is helpful. Um, I always look forward to your comments underneath the videos and, and how you might be inspired to, to go forward and create content. And of course, any questions, I also welcome them.